Um, leaving your handprint, so to speak, on history is a good thing. Neil Armstrong did his footprint on the moon. And lots of people have, uh, you know, on the Walk of Fame yeah. as mm -hmm. well. Well, you have a chance to do that here locally as well with your Leave Your Handprint campaign. Our Cage Queen is Lauren Khalil. She's live at the Quincy Arts Center this morning with more on that story. Yes, good morning, guys. We are still live here with Courtney at the Quincy Arts Center. So let's get to know a little bit about this handprint campaign. What exactly is it? This campaign allows community members to come into the Art Center and be able to give back something uh, to the education programs and the exhibits that we have offered here. So as you can see behind me, anybody can walk into the Art Center, uh, leave any sort of contribution that they'd like, and they're able to paint their hand and just stamp it on there. If they want to sign it, they can go ahead and do that. We encourage that if they want to uh, have their handprint identified. Mm -hmm. And then we will take pictures of it, post it on social media, um, just raise awareness for it, and then we add, invite people to uh, share it themselves and so we can get more uh, community members involved with this program. Now we have a lot of handprints already here. You guys just started in July. Yep. yep. And um, why, why handprints? Why is that so important? Well, handprints are unique to every single person and so we just wanted to show that everybody is unique uh, when they come into the art center art is about expressing yourself and so you're able to come in you can see all the different designs that we have here and everybody can come in as well as their signature is unique <laughs> so they can come in and sign it uh, and just be able to look at all the creative ways that people can contribute now people when they place their handprint there they also donate to the Quincy Art Center um, where are those funds exactly going towards here they are going towards our exhibits that we offer here as well as our education programs we have fall classes offered open up now and we've had summer art classes that have uh, gone on all throughout the summer including our kids art camp and this allows um, just to kind of fill in the holes wherever we would need uh, the contributions to come in place. And so those go towards, again, like I said, the programs that we have offered um, so that everyone is able to be able to take some of these art classes. Why is it so important for not only kids, but even um, teenagers and adults to have the options to take some of these educational classes here? A lot of times kids have more opportunities than adults, I feel, to <laughs> be able to come in and uh, take some of these art classes, especially in schools and so this allows adults and teenagers to be able to come in in their free time whenever they can and just to be able to um, be creative in some of these classes be able to get some of that art experience when will this campaign be going until this is going to be running throughout the year and so we started it in July and so hopefully it'll you know go all the way through and we hope to have this mural all full of these different handprints Okay, Courtney, thank you so much. And later in the show, we're actually going to have me put my handprint on there, and then we'll be coming back to the studio. Chad, Jenny, Jeremy, get ready, because you three are also going to have the opportunity to put your handprint on the mural behind us. And, um, Ethan, if you want to come over here with me, right here, we have our very own Tegan Orpit. She has put her handprint and her lovely signature on there. So um, have the whole morning crew. Later this evening, we will also be having our um, 5 and 6 p.m. newscast put their handprints on the murals. So um, good to have KHQA get involved with this awesome campaign. Thank you, Courtney, so much. And we'll throw it back to you guys in the studio.